Want to learn how it works? Interested in creating yours? Because this is the double video on how to do both. First off, this thing is really bulky and it will use up most of your Vex parts. It used to be like here, those parts. It'll take commitment, but it'll be worth it. Inside you can see two things. The piston, and the lock itself. So now, the lock can go in on this part, and you can take it out. I found that you can combine two axles by putting them in one of these. So half the axle goes in here and the other half goes in here, and then it acts as one big axle. And also, the piston works best on the bottom, so you can push down. But that all depends on how you build this part. So when you build this, you have to make sure that the piston moves to its fullest extent. <laughs> Good luck with that. So right here, it's locked, and it can't come out because the piston is fully out right here. So when you move this, you have to make sure that when it's locked, you can't take it out. So here's when it's unlocked, when it should be horizontal here. And then you could push it, and then it will eventually slide out. And when you lock it back up, like this, now it can't go all the way back to where it was. And you can't take it out. Now, onto the base. So, when building the safe holder, you have to make sure the bottom lines up like tracks. So it comes in on here, and then it can't go any further here. This should work because you should build the base with these connectors, and also make sure that the safe can't come out without the combo by adding this. So when it's out, then it can slide past here, and it can't pop out because of these. Anyway, now let's see it in action. So in creating the dial, you want to make sure that the pins are in an order that you can remember because you don't want to mess up when you're trying to showcase to someone <laughs> yeah like like that and when you're done put the dial on the other axle and turn The piston should have popped back in, so you can take it out or in. I really don't care. I hope this video helped, and I'll see you next Monday. Alright, thank you for bearing with me. I know I haven't been posting lately because I got sick and then it was a holiday. I can't stay up at 2am. Learned that. Yeah, so I'll definitely be posting more frequently, especially over the summer. I was wondering if I would still do the Living Structure series. So in the comments, leave if you want to see more Living Structures, or if you want to see more crazy inventions like this. See you Monday.